to another exciting edition of Stevie Mag Night TV. Today we've got an exciting show for you. It's the year in show, the year in review. Uh, as you know how we started the show off before, man, we had a monochromatic screen in the background and just still images flying through. But we've stepped up our game. We got better lighting, better sound. We've improved the quality of the show because we listen to you, the viewer. And we've also got our panel of experts here. Montel Jackson, Big Mike, and the Reverend Al Sharpton, and some other special guests who we feature on the show. Dr. Tandresi, and sometimes we get Jack. <laughs> but now we want you to hang in there and listen to us right here, right now, on Stevie Mag at Night. If there's anything I know I can count on is the projections of our panelists because you guys are astute. Now, Big Mike, we know that you had uh, an opportunity to be on the Senate floor. What's your projections for the year 2010? What's your plan? What are you going to be doing? Well, thank you, Stevie. Yes, I did forego a career uh, in politics on the Senate floor because politically, the best move for me is right here on Stevie Mac at night. I mean, I discussed this with my family and I set up a blog and I took a poll and asked my friends and neighbors and uh, supporters, what should I do? Should I go to politics or should I do politics on Stevie Mac and Night TV? And they all said, this is the place for me, so I'm glad you've opened the door for me to have a home here on Stevie Mac and Night TV. And politically, that's the most astute thing I could have done in my entire life. Stevie, I am proud of your show getting bigger and better, and that's why I'm glad to be here too. I mean, I'm not quitting my other career to come here, but it's so big and it's so strong, I can't help but Get right in here and stick with you. And I agree. Everything has got, look at the lights look better. The studio got the sound equipment. Look at all the people over there. You got more people working here. You got more people here than I got in my office. And that's proper because I got a lot of people in my office. Stevie, I'm glad to be on uh, such an astute show as we've got this going word here. This is a strong show. The show's growing. The viewers are sending letters in. I'm getting all sorts of emails and Twitters. I'm even twitting these days, and that's a new thing to me. I never thought I'd see the day when I'd be twitting, twitting. Huh, who would have known? Reverend Al Sharpton, what's happening with this health care referendum? Thank you, Stevie. I'm glad to be on the show. For the new year coming up, I was looking at health care as being um, politically and economically the people who was fighting against it the most were the people who needed it the most. Montel Jackson, looking at the economy now, money is good, but jobs are soft. What is your forecast for employment in the year 2010? Well, you know, looking at the new year coming in, uh, unemployment has been at a record high, but this administration has done a fantastic job in getting people jobs. And I mean, people have been lining up at the welfare line and the unemployment line, but uh, things are shaping up in the new year. What do you know? Montel, I understand about the job situation, but in the black community, you got to count it tenfold because the black unemployment rate ain't the same as the white unemployment rate. I can understand Montel Jackson's perspective, but what I see in the coming year, uh, well, you know, we're looking at green technology uh, creating a lot of jobs, and I don't know about clean coal. I don't think there is such a thing as clean coal. That's like having clean dirt politically, and I've never seen clean dirt nowhere politically because uh, that's just not astute. What does the health care scene look like? Well, in the year 2010 coming up, Stevie, the health care debate rages on, and it seems like those who need it the most are those who fight it the most. They need to sit down and shut up the teabaggers. They're everywhere. Teabagging over here, teabagging over there, and quite frankly, I find that appalling. I don't agree with that, Al Sharpton. Come on. They call themselves Tea Party, not Teabaggers, and there's a reason for that politically because that's the 
the way they want to be known as. I mean, you don't call yourself something that you don't want to be known as. No, no, no. I said teabaggers and I meant teabaggers. Because that's what I'm talking about. See, Big Man, well, you don't understand me. I mean, I'm just trying to be politically right. correct. I'm trying to tell you the way they put themselves out there. And that's why I'm here to have my perspective known. And I'm not talking. Can I talk for a minute here? I mean, you're talking over me. I'm not the one talking over you. Tea party, tea baggers. Hey, everybody's got their own opinion about this and that, but I call them what I call them what I see. I'm trying to tell you the way they putting themselves out there. Well, that's how tea baggers do. Yeah, yeah. Walk like a tea bagger, talk like a tea bagger, must be a tea bagger. Tell Joe, you what you're saying. Can we get on with it? I can't go on with it. 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 I can't go on strong points of view i respect my colleagues here uh putting their uh, opinions out there because that's what it's all about i mean what's the world coming to these days if people can't talk like gentlemen and discuss an issue or two we've had many guests on this show and we've covered many topics and we here at stevie mag at night tv aim to do the same in the coming year so we want you to stay tuned with us and hang in there and tell a friend yes indeed and remember the world is watching and have a happy 